hi everyone let's make this pretty crystal mini bag it's so pretty and it's really easy to make to begin you're going to need these crystals they come in strings as you can see and for this video i used 17 of these strings so when you get the strings you need to count 17 of them i used 17 strings to achieve that bag you can find them at any bead shop you go to um you're also going to need your cutter and your fishing line in 60 mm you're going to start by cutting the strings to release the beads into a bowl so you have enough that you're going to work with i usually just cut a few strings and start working with them next i'm going to cut my fishing line to a length that i'm comfortable working with and i'm going to begin beading my bag to begin i'm going to take the two tips as you can see the two tips of the fishing line and i'm going to go in with four crystals on any side of the thread like so and then i'm going to cross on the fourth one I like to pull my thread from the tip just so that both sides of the thread are even as I'm beading along the way. So this is my first ring of four. I have started making my bag officially. Now I'm going to be mentioning my right and my left hand a lot in this video. Now I'm taking three beads and passing one one bead through each side of the thread and crossing on the third bead okay now I'm going to repeat that again because I'm trying to make like a long chain now so I'm going to take three beads I'm going to pass one on each thread and then I'm going to cross one like so I'm going to repeat that again just so you can see it one more time oops <laughs> I'm going to take three beads past one on each thread and then I'm going to cross on the third one now I'm going to continue doing this until I get 13 rings so I have done four. I'm going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, till I get to thirteen. This is because the length of the bag is fourteen, and yeah, I want to stop at thirteen because I'm going to turn on the fourteenth ring. So I'm going to do a straight chain like so until I get to thirteen. So this is my straight chain. This is just me counting it to be sure it's thirteen rings I made and okay that looks accurate so i'm going to turn because i'm trying to achieve a matte a matte pattern so this is me trying to turn now to turn i'm going to take three beads and i'm going to pass them through the thread on my left as i indicated so i'm passing the three beads on the thread on my left then i'm going to cross on the third bead Once you do this, you would see that the pattern is facing the side now. It's no longer facing the top. It's facing the side. Now you're going to turn again so you can turn completely. You take three beads, pass them through the thread on your left again, and then cross on the third bead. okay this looks good so far now we're going to continue and to do that we're going to take the thread on the right in my right hand like so and pass it through the bead that is just ahead i'm bringing it closer so you can see if you're beginning if you're a beginner it's important that you see how i do this so i pass it through the next thread 
sorry, the next bead, my bad. I pass it through the next bead. And then I'm going to take two beads and pass them through the thread on my left. And cross on the second bead. Okay, so we can see our mask is beginning to form. We're having a pattern here. I'm going to repeat that again. I'm going to take the thread on my right, pass it through the next bead, like so. Then I'm going to take two beads, put them on the thread on my left, and I'm going to cross on the second bead. Don't forget to pull. Don't pull too much when you're working with crystals, but pull so that your pattern is firm and is not too loose. So I'm going to repeat that again so you can see. And I'm going to take two beads, pass through the thread on the left and cross on the second bead. Now I'm going to continue this all the way to the end of the mat. All right, the same thing that I've done. I'm going to do it again and again and again till I get um to the end of the first chain that I made. Remember, I'm making a mat, so I want to go keep going back and forth until I have the full pattern that I want. okay so i have gone all the way and i'm at the end now now i'm going to show you how to turn yet again when you have done the second row so this is the second row we have done and we want to turn because we want to continue and do a third row so you're going to pass the thread your right thread to the next bead and instead of passing the two beads through the thread on the left you're going to pass it through the thread on the right okay can you see so it's facing the side we want it to face now i'm just going to turn that to face me because i like to be from bottom to top so i just turned it turned the pattern to face me and then i'm going to go in with three beads on the thread on my left and then i'm going to cross on the third like so okay and I'm just going to continue the same way I did the second row. I'm going to do the third and the fourth and the fifth. I'm going to keep doing that until I'm on the third row, right? So I'm going to keep going to the end and coming back until I have 23 rows. So I'm doing a 14 by 23 pattern. And so I have done my 14. I am on number three now. I'm going to do four, five, six, seven until i get to 23 right so this is me counting my 14 and i have one two three right i'm still in the third one anyway so i'm just going to keep doing that until i get to 23 and this is what i have once i have gotten to 23 so my pattern is now a 14 by 23 so this is me counting my 23 just to be sure Okay, I'm sorry, I was counting my 14 first. Okay, so that's 14. And then my 23. It's important that you count because this is going to help when you're shipping the bag. Now I'm going to begin um, beating the side of the bag, right? And to do that, I'm going to count nine rings, right? So I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when I locate the ninth bead, I'm going to pass my thread, a new thread, through the ninth and the tenth bead. So when I locate the ninth bead, I'm going to pass my thread through the ninth bead and the bead just after the ninth bead, like so. This is going to form a corner where I'm going to begin beading the side of the bag. So I'm going to take, <clears throat> don't forget, we have our left, we have our right. I'm going to take two beads, pass them through the thread on my left, 
and I'm going to cross on the second bead like so oops there's a little tangling there we should be prepared to experience that okay so we have a ring now now I'm going to pass the thread on my right through the next bead which will be I guess the 11th bead <laughs> pass it through and then I'm going to take two beads again pass them to the thread on my left and cross on the second bead okay that is secured now I'm going to repeat that Pass the thread to the next bead. Take two beads. Pass them on the thread on my left and cross on the second bead. So I've done this three times, right? Now I'm going to do a fourth time again. I'm going to pass on the next bead. Then I'm going to take two beads. Pass them on the thread on my left and cross on the second bead. Now I want to end this. I want to make the fifth bead to be the corner. So I have I've done this one, two, three, four times. I want to do it five times. So the fifth is going to be the, the other corner of the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the thread to the next two beads, right? Because I want it to be a corner. So I'm going to pass my thread now through the next two beads. Okay. And now I'm going to take just one bead. I'm going to take one bead and I'm going to cross it through both ends of the thread like so more tangling more tangling but we're good okay as you can see the side of the bag is beginning to form we have folded our bag and we are beginning to bead the side to continue I'm going to pass the thread onto the next bead and this time around I'm going to take two beads I'm going to take two beads and I'm going to pass them on the thread on my right hand because that is the side that is opposite the pattern and I'm going to cross on the second if you're a beginner by now if you've come this far you're following this video I'm sure you must have understood how the pattern works so now I'm going to pass the thread on the next bead this will be the left thread now and I'm going to keep doing that until I close the entire pattern that I have the entire side of the bag so I'm going to continue passing the thread on the next bead I'm gonna take two beads pass them onto the thread on my left and cross on the second bead I'm going to repeat this till I get to the edge and when I get to the edge like so you know what I do I pass it through the next two beads because I'm already at the end I pass it through the next two beads just like we did when we were at the other end and then I'm going to add one bead and cross on that one bead Now guys, you're going to repeat this until you close up this entire side, right? You're just going to 
pass on to the next bead, add two beads, just the same thing that we did. If you need to go back and watch it, you can feel free to do that. But I do not want to make this video too lengthy, so I'm just going to do that off camera. So this is our first side. We've done two rows and we still have quite a couple more to go. So we're trying to close up the entire side and do that on the other side as well. So to do the other side, of course, you're going to begin by counting nine, just like we did when we were about to begin um, the first side. You're going to begin by counting nine. When you get to the ninth bead, you're going to pass your thread through the ninth and tenth bead, and you know how it goes. Feel free to rewind and watch that again. So this is what I have when I had finished closing up both sides. So you're going to have five on it on each edge, my bad. And yeah, this is our body, the body of our bag. If you've come this far, well done. Good job. This is what we have so far. And all that's left is to build the handle of the bag. And I'm going to show you just how we're going to do that. Now to build the handle and to, well, to shape the bag, I'm going to take the middle bead because there are five the, the edge has like five rows so i'm going to pick the third one which is in the middle that's going to form the tip of the bag <clears throat> right just like i'm doing and then i'm going to count four beads from that edge and i'm going to pass my thread on the fourth bead right and then i'm going to put one bead here and put pass it through the opposite bead which is also the fourth from the edge so i'm counting four beads on the other end as well i'm passing the thread through it okay and this is what we would have next i'm going to take one bead I'm going to cross on that one bead like so okay I'm going to take both sides of my thread and pass them through the next bead I just zoomed in so you can see this very well so I'm going to pass the, bead, the thread on my right onto the next bead oops little tangling there and then I'm going to pass the thread on my left onto the next bead as well. Okay, and then I'm going to take one bead and I'm going to cross both sides of the thread on that one bead. Excuse me. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to repeat that process again. I'm going to pass both threads through the next bead okay that's on the right and then on the left i'm going to do the same thing okay so far so good then i'm going to take one bead and cross on that one bead okay now we have a closed up edge right we have closed an edge here with four rings all right and that looks cute this is what is going to help us to shape the bag and get that cute shape that we had that we worked with so from here i'm going to start building the handle off or the hand of the bag i'm not sure if handle is the right word <laughs> So this type of the hand of the bag and to begin i will take three beads i'll pass them through the thread on my left and i'll cross on the third bead like so and i'm going to pass the thread on my right onto the next bead and i'm gonna add two beads on the left thread and cross with the right on the second bead I want to pass the thread on my right onto the next bead 
take two beads pass them on the thread on my left and i'm gonna cross on the second bead and when i get to the end like so i'm going to pass the thread on the next two beads and i'm just going to take one bead and cross on it and this is how you build the handle i'm just going to keep repeating this until the handle is long enough for me to work with i'm going to show you one more time how i achieved that so this is what we have we're going to take three beads right pass them on the thread on the left cross on the third bead like so okay and then we're going to pass the right thread onto the next bead and then take two beads pass them on the thread on the left and then cross on the second bead okay next we're going to pass yet again on the next bead we're going to add two beads boop, boop, and cross on the second and now we've gotten to the end so we're going to pass it on to the next two beads and then we're gonna add one bead and cross on that one bead you're going to repeat these guys keep repeating it keep repeating it my handle it was like by 15 i guess so you're going to want to do this multiple times i've already done it twice now right twice or three times i think twice so I, that means i have two now so i have like 13 to go right so i'm going to keep doing this repeating this process again 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 until i have quite a length so this is what i had i think i did like 10 or so because i wanted to um do the four at the other end and just and just join it together but yeah the length of my hand was by 14 so 14 rings so i've done about 10 here and i'm going to begin doing the other hand so i'm just going to start from the middle to make sure the bead is in the middle and from that middle bead i'm going to count four beads one two three four and i'm going to pass my thread on the fourth bead like so I'm going to take one bead to pass it through it and then pass on the opposite bead which is also the fourth bead from the side okay so this is what I have I'm going to take one bead and cross on it and just same thing I did when I was starting the other end I'm going to repeat that process here again and I'm going to begin building the other side. So remember I told you I already had like 10 or so at one side. So I just need like four more rings on this side. So this is me building my four. Do I call them steps? Maybe like four steps or whatever to build the hand. So I'm just going to do that. The same process we did while building the other hand you know past the right thread and blah 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 i mean if you don't remember you can rewind <laughs> you can always go back to a few seconds ago where we did that and watch it again okay i'm going to keep doing that and when i have it to a reasonable length so i told you my hand was by 14 
I did 10 the first time. I think I added like three at this side. Or oh, I can't remember what number anyway, but when I had enough at the left side, I'm just joining both sides now together to complete the bag. Guys, if you've gotten this far and you are not subscribed to my channel, you are wrong. You are very, very wrong because there's a lot more that I have in store. I have a lot of videos already. Not a lot. I have some videos already. <laughs> but I'm working on a lot more and there's so much you can learn from it. Oh, this, this is so pretty. And I post beading tips as well, things that could help you when you're beading, how to attach certain stuff, how to fix certain beading problems, anything beading, I post them. If you want to request a tutorial, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. I would always respond, always. So yeah, I am just trying to join the hand together. This is very easy to do, you know, just follow your pattern and um join both sides now i've gotten to the end i'm just going to end my thread i pulled a lot so that this hand will be firm and okay this is what i had when i ended my thread our bag is looking pretty. It's, I mean, you could even leave it like this if you would like. But you know, we're not done yet. We have to do the ring. The small ringy thing on top. So this is just me beginning to do the ring. For a quicker explanation, for, to start the ring, you're going to need a 14 by 3 pattern. So I'm not going to talk much here. I'm just going to let you watch how I do a 14 by 3 pattern. I would have taken this part out, but I feel like some people may still want to, I don't know, see the process. So yeah, I'm just going to bead a plain beaded mat of 14 by 3. So length of 14 and the width of 3. So it's the same process we followed when we started making the bag. You know, when we started, we did 14 by 23, but instead this one's gonna be 14 by three so that's just what i'm doing um yeah watch and learn completed my 14 by 3 pattern simple beading pattern this is the easiest beading pattern guys i didn't even need to show you how i did this but i just put it anyway either ways brah um okay so this is what i have this is what we're going to use to make the tiny circle thingy that's gonna be on the bag so it's 14 this is just me counting to be sure i have 14 and 3 of course easy to see that it's three i have there now i'm going to, going to fold this like i'm doing all right and so you can see we have three sides but it's supposed to have four sides so we're just going to complete the fourth side all right so this is the fourth side we're going to complete now i'm going to start by 
putting one bead and passing on the opposite bead and I'm gonna take one bead again and cross on it this is very easy and simple I mean if you've come this far I know I just know that you're going to know how to do this so I'm not going to speak much on it I mean right here we're gonna pass both sides of our thread on the next beads so the right thread I pass on the next bead and the left thread I do the same And then I'm going to add one bead and cross on that one bead. Now guys, I'm going to repeat this process until I have closed up the entire thing, ring, whatever it is. I do not know what to call it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to repeat this all the way until i have closed this up because i want it to be four-sided it's meant to be a four-sided thing that's how it can uh work so yeah now i have gotten to the end of my pattern and this is what we have four sides oh it looks pretty these crystals are shining it's giving renaissance by beyonce it's giving so many things it's just so chic so classy so shiny and everything i love it so much okay yeah and this is what we have so far so now we're going to join both ends now you remember how you joined both ends of the handle of your bag yeah that's what you're gonna do here I'm just going to join both ends of this pattern together and it's gonna be a wrap joining it i'm just going to tuck in my thread by passing it through um the beaded pattern and when i'm comfortable with how far i have passed it i'm just going to cut it off and this is what we have this is our bag it's ready it's pretty she's gorgeous and she's ready to be taking out on girls night on a date whatever wherever you're going to if you enjoyed this tutorial if you learned something even if it's just one thing please like 
and don't forget to subscribe for lots and lots of tutorials to come thank you for watching and bye